Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome to another video on the channel. Now this video is um for Pokemon fans, but for also my um Roblox subscribers um who don't know what Pokemon is um since I changed my channel to Pokemon my theme cha my channel theme to Pokemon. So basically Pokemon is a game, a card game where well, it can also be like video games, but it's a card game where you could battle people, open packs and get cards that are worth money. You could sell the cards. So in a minute I'm gonna show you um like basically what the attacks do and like cause like on the cards there's like um attacks like you could battle people um and i'll show you that like right now so basically yeah sorry if i'm going too quick but you'll see so first is this card mew um um its attack is psy shot or um yes yeah, psy shot does 30 damage at the top of the card mew its HP is 60. HP means health. So basically, this attack does 30 damage to the health of a Pokemon. Now let's look at the Charizard. His HP is 120. Um, and his attack does 100 damage. Now that does 100 damage to the health of a Pokemon card. Or any Pokemon. Now Pikachu has 60 HP. His attacks are null, which does 10 damage, and Thunder Jewel, which does 30 damage. And if you want to battle someone, you can only use um, an attack one at a time. So yeah, move on to the next thing. So now I'm going to show you different Pokemon sets where you could pull cards out of. So basically, um... At the bottom, you can see, this is the Pokemon website, Pokemon.com, but at the bottom, you can see EX series. Um, also, there's other series before this, but they're very vintage, and a lot of you can't really afford them. Even I can't. But, so, the first series is EX, so you can see EX Ruby and Sapphire, EX Sandstorm, EX Dragon. You get the point. It goes all the way up, like, um, you know, um, it's basically a series where you can pull certain cards and remember the pull the cards you pull out of packs are all different um by the way so they're not like all the same in each pack they're all different so ex team magma versus team aqua which i actually sold a card from there um on ebay ex and legends ex fire red and leaf green which is a very popular set ex team rocket returns um, and if you're wondering what Team Rocket is, it's a group of two villains. Um, there's also a TV show, um, Pokemon anime TV show, um, on Disney XD or, like, anywhere. Like, I, I know you guys can find it. Or just, like, um, like, cause there's new, um, TV remotes that were, um, it, it's voice activate. You could, like, say, um, what you want to watch, so, yeah. Then EX Dioxides, EX Emerald, EX Unseen Forces, EX Delta Species, EX Legend Maker. You get the point, and it just goes all the way up to now Diamond and Pearl. Now, Diamond and Pearl is actually the name of the new Pokemon video game if you want to buy it. It's um, pretty good. I haven't bought it, but I already know it's good. Diamond and Pearl Mysterious Treasures now, Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders, and then you get the point. Now it goes up to Platinum. There's Platinum Rising Rivals, Platinum Supreme Victors, Platinum Arceus, and now it's Heart Gold Soul Silver. Now, the nickname for it is HS. HS. So it's HS Unleashed, HS Undaunted. Um, you get the point. Now it goes up to Call of Legends, which is another HS set. It just doesn't have it in the logo. Now we're at Black and White, which is. 2011 then goes all the way up um dragon vault is also a black and white set and now it's at xy one of my favorite um favorite eras of the pokemon trading card game 
So, um, Kale starter set is the beginning of XY. Now it's XY, um, base set. Base sets are basically the start of a new set. Then it goes up to, um, and now Generations. Generations is actually the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. It's, I, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it's the first ever celebr um, first ever anniversary set. So, that's pretty cool if you want to buy that. Packs are not too much money, but are, but are pretty valuable. Now, Evolution, that's one of my favorite sets from XY. It's basically a remake of an old vintage set, the first ever Pokemon set created in 1995, so yeah. Also, Steam Siege, don't buy that. It's very bad. And now we're at Sun and Moon era, which you could see. Detective Pikachu was a movie series. Um, and Sun and Moon was actually also when I started Pokemon collecting. Now, Sword and Shield area, era, that's where we're at now. As you could see, Evolving Skies is actually a good set. It's very good. And Celebrations, that's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, which is now. Um, it's a good set. Um, buy that. It's not, um, it's actually not, um, that much money. So, and now Fusion Strike, I'm also going to make a video next explaining should you buy it or not. And Brilliant Stars, that hasn't came out yet, as you can see. Comes out February 25th, 2022. Um, and buy that on pre-release if you want, because it's going to be a good set. Um, and yeah. So, those are the Pokemon sets. Now we're going to move on to how much Pokemon cards are worth. So, yeah. Alright. So right now I'm on eBay. E if you don't know what eBay is, it's a website where you could sell stuff or buy stuff from people all around the world. And as you could see, this card is Pokemon First Edition 1999 Oddish. Um, now, if you want to know if it's First Edition, it has a stamp on it that says number one, but this is not First Edition. And the set is from Jungle, which is a vintage set. So here are the pictures the tax but it says um 1999 oddish 58 out of 64 64 is how many cards are in the set and it has a number tiny at the bottom left or the bottom right usually the bottom right nowadays but in vintage cards it was bottom left or i i think i'm getting my um rights and lefts mixed up my bad but Mir near mint condition is basically the condition of the card. So, mint is basically in very good condition, and near mint is in close to good condition. Now, on the back of the card, there's a thing called whitening, um, and it's usually on the corners or anywhere on the card. Usually, the corners and edges. Um, it's basically the card disintegrating, like the well, not disintegrating, but the like paint on the cardboard's coming off. And then you got surface where if there's scratches or stains, takes um takes value off. But there's also um card places you can get your cards graded. So yeah, also the card's seventeen dollars. So just that one card, seventeen dollars. Now this is a Pokemon card law of ten official cards, ultra rare cards. Ultra rare cards are very good cards you can get out of packs. GX, EX, Mega EXs. V and V Max cards are all the good cards or breaks or breaks, but breaks are not that good. Um, but those are all very good cards. There's also uh, a trick you could do on the packs where, because when you open the pack, the packs um, have the good card in the middle. If you do the card trick right, um, the card's at the end, so it's like a good surprise. You're like, and, and then the good card it's either a hollow a normal rare which is not that good hollows are decent hollows are hits which are good and you got all the good cards so here are the pictures of what good cards look like they're very shiny these are just basic base cards they're guaranteed in each pack but some of these are vintage which are hard to get now um so yeah here are pictures um energies are are also guaranteed they're not worth anything but good cards, these are good cards and base cards. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, you get the point. Um, so yeah, and six dollars for ten cards, you know. Um, then you got all of these. Um, let me. Those are packs, but I, I want to find like a normal card. All right. So look, these three cards: Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Three card set or three card lot are all near mint. Um. And all three of those base cards guaranteed in a pack. They're not, these specific cards are not guaranteed in a pack, but base cards are. And these are base cards. Um, and they're $15, all three of them. And then this is celebrations. Some eBay sellers do this where you can choose your card from the set. and But you do have to pay money. Um, so look, see. Let's, let me show you. Um... What should I do? Let's do Dark Sylveon. This is a promo. Promo cards are basically cards you are guaranteed in a box. Pokemon box. And you could see them on the front of the box. And the box comes with packs usually. And this card's like $5 for that one piece of cardboard. Remember, these cards are just pieces of cardboard worth money. Which is very good. Greninja, that's also a promo. Um, Some money. Light, light trust. Um, I'm behind, so this card's twenty dollars. The other one was fifteen. This one's a dollar, cause um, it's not worth that much. But Tapu Lele, this one's twenty dollars. Dark Umbreon, which is seventy dollars, or not dark, but Umbreon Gold Star is seventy dollars. Now, um, this metal card, Charizard, is $200. Metal cards are not cardboard. Then this metal Pikachu is $80. And those two, the Charizard and Pikachu, are actually promos you could get out of a specific box. So yeah, those are the prices of cards. Now I'm going to show you videos. So yeah, here I am, videos. This one's How to Play Pokemon um, TCG. So, um, remember I told you at the beginning I'd show you how to, like, battle? So, you got How to Play Pokemon TCG Tutorial by the official Pokemon YouTube channel. So, like, that's officially by Pokemon. How to Play a Pokemon Trading Card Game. Learn to Play in Less Than 15 Minutes by Toleran Community College. Hope I'm saying your name right. Pokemon Card Battle How to Play Easy to Learn Tutorial by Tim's Gaming Channel. Um... How to play Pokemon the easy way by GE Vlogs. Um, how to play the Pokemon card game, the casual TCG. You get the point. And then, so yeah, basically. So how to play Pokemon TCG Part One: the rules, the J Witties, or uh, I don't know. I hope you're saying your name right. I'm very sorry if I'm not, but it's hard to pronounce. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you. Um the card trick so how to do the pokemon card pack trick by javin m and also by the way the pokemon card trick doesn't give you an advantage of pulling good cards from these packs it's just a trick to um put the good card or the bad card at the end of the pack and yeah so you can watch these videos pokemon amazing magic trick t um wb magic Revealing the trick on how to get an ultra rare in every pack Pokemon card opening by Dark Ghoul. This is not a Pokemon card trick, and don't think that this is real. It's just a title of a video to get viewers interested, but he's a good YouTuber either way. How to open a Pokemon booster pack card trick. Good day, Pokemon. Um, you get the point. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is the video of what Pokemon TCG trading card game is, and yeah. So I hope I cover it all for you. A lot of you already know if you're Pokemon fans. But this is for my Roblox subscribers that subscribe to me only for Roblox.